Saul was a religious man and he did not believe that Jesus was the way, the truth and the life. In fact, anybody who followed the way, as it was called when you followed Jesus, he thought they deserved to be killed. So he headed off to the high priests and said, give me some letters. I want all these Christian people killed. They are spoiling our Jewish religion. He would set off with the letters one day to kill a few of the Christian people or at least get them thrown into prison or do something else awful to them. When all of a sudden, from heaven, there shone the most incredible bright light, like the sun had come right down in his face. He was, he was shocked. He fell on the floor. He, he, he actually went blind because the light was so bright. While he was lying there, he heard this voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul did not know whose voice it was. He couldn't see anybody. He, he said, who, who are you, Lord? And Jesus said, I'm Jesus. You're persecuting me. You're doing the wrong thing. You've made a mistake. Saul said, oh, okay, well, what do you want me to do? Well, the voice didn't tell him anything else much except go to the city and I'll tell you later what I want you to do. Saul had gone blind. He got somebody to take him by the hand and led him into the city. Meanwhile, another man called Ananias had had a vision where he was supposed to go to meet Saul and make his eyes better so he could see again. He knew about Saul. He knew Saul was a mild word. He was a dangerous man. He, he, he said to God, he, he's a terrible man. He hates Christians. But he knew that God had told him to go. So off he went. He was a little bit anxious. But, you know, when you hear from God, off you go. So Ananias went to Straight Street where Saul was. And um, he prayed for him. Saul's eyes got healed he could see again he says to Ananias come on this is great let's have some dinner so they had some food together and then of course Saul realised he'd been wrong all along Jesus was the way the truth and the life he is the way the truth and the life so Saul started to preach that instead he said I, I was wrong let me explain to you from all the Jewish stuff that we know, why Jesus really is God. He's talked to me, I know he is. Well, the other Jewish people, who had a really good religion going, and weren't keen for it to be disrupted, decided they would make a plan and kill Saul, who was now as big a troublemaker, if not more, than the Christian people following Jesus' way. Well, the friends of Saul got to hear about it. And so what they did was they let him down over the wall, put him in a basket and let him down so that he could escape away from the city. And then he went to visit some of the other disciples and there was this lovely chap called Barnabas and everybody was terrified of Saul because they were like, could not believe he'd changed this much and that he was actually now preaching about Jesus. They thought it was all a trap. But Barnabas says, no, seriously, don't be scared. God's talked to him. He's, he's okay now. He's one of the Christian way. He's following Jesus and he's helping everybody else to understand that Jesus is the way, is the truth, is the life. And he still is. <laughs>